Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on the Arrowverse. Today we have some big news to talk about, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. So we've been waiting for a while to hear of official confirmations of new seasons, specifically in regards to our Arrowverse shows. A while ago it was reported that Grant had been offered a multi-year deal which would see him signing on to The Flash for a couple more years and a couple more seasons, however he rejected this deal in favour of a single year contract. As I've explained before, that just means the actor gets more money because they can negotiate their deal every year, basically giving them the option to opt out of the series if they can't offer them what they want, or the potential for a future raise in their salaries, and so it's good to have that kind of flexibility when you're especially the lead of the show, and maybe you feel like enough is enough at a certain point, but not quite yet. That is literally what everyone does as they pass like the sixth season or something like that on a big show because they normally sign contracts specifically on the CW for about six years. So now we've got official confirmation of seven CW series that have gone ahead and have been renewed by the CW. So Mark Pedowitz came out with these renewal confirmations to news outlets. I'm reading off of The Hollywood Reporter. I'll leave the link in the description below to the article which you guys can check out after this video. So this is very exciting because they've announced that out of the CW shows that are coming back, the ones that aren't Arrowverse related is All American for season five, Kung Fu for season three, Nancy Drew for season four, and Walker for season three. So there are other shows and obviously we won't talk much about them because that's not our focus on this channel. But let's talk about the Arrowverse shows that have been officially renewed for a new season. So like I mentioned before, The Flash was nearly a complete deal for Season 9 because Grant was negotiating his contract and it seems now they have officially sorted everything out and they've agreed to this season at least. And it hasn't come with the announcement like when Supergirl Season 6 was announced that it was going to end. So that gives us a lot of hope or specifically it gives me a lot of hope that this season isn't going to be the last because that would have been in their contract and I don't believe it would be in their interest to not tell the public about it if they were planning for this to be the last season rather than coming out like halfway through the season and saying oh this is the last one. So in my mind with them announcing the Flash season 9 is ready and they are going to do it and Grant is fully signed on because that's what this announcement is. I'm pretty sure we're going to get a season 10 as well because I think they would do a super go and come out and say okay we've renewed the show but we're going to end the show because that's what we've agreed on at the end of this season so I would say that's a very good sign that a season 10 is going to be coming after this and obviously that's dependent on the deal maybe he does like an arrow and he does a Stephen Amell where he's like okay I'll come back for a season 10 but we're going to do like a half season like Steven did with Arrow's final season. But nevertheless, it's just super exciting that we have official confirmation at least one, maybe two more years of The Flash that we've got ahead of us. And with The Flash being renewed for season nine, it's going to be the longest running Arrowverse show out there because obviously the longest running Arrowverse show was Arrow and then Supergirl obviously, but Legends is going to shortly take over if it gets to season seven. So this would mean The Flash is beating Arrow by at least one season, potentially two seasons if they go to The Flash season nine. And so that's just a very good thing that The Flash has because it's the Arrowverse's most popular show and it only makes sense that it would be the Arrowverse's longest running show because it's that popular. And so along with this announcement, Mark Pedowitz actually said this, as we prepare for the next season of our shows, the scripted series along with the alternative series we renewed earlier will serve as the start of a solid foundation utilizing some of our most watched series for us to build on next year and beyond, said Pedowitz. These dramas are also important to our overall digital strategy as they are some of the most streamed and socially engaged programming and we look forward to adding more new and returning series to help strengthen and expand our multi-platform footprint. 
So it's clear that the CW strategy is to try and renew these shows that are incredibly well received and obviously they have a lot of social media attention and they actually do pretty good in terms of ratings and especially with what the CW has been doing recently with their streaming. Something like The Flash is very valuable to them and having the show run on for this long and have this many fans, it's great for them and they'll never want to cancel The Flash so it's all down to Grant on how long the show actually runs and so it's interesting that Mark Pedowitz adds and we look forward to adding more new and returning series to help strengthen and expand our multi-platform footprint at the end of the quote. So that means that they are going to renew more shows, but as of right now, these are the shows that they can officially announce because they've sorted their contracts, everyone's on board and ready to do another season. And so that's where The Flash is at right now. But another show which was included in the seven shows that the CW announced for early renewals was Superman Lois. Season 3. So this was a no-brainer because all of these seven shows are pretty much the best viewed and most watched shows on the CW and considering how popular Superman Lois has been over the last two seasons, it's an absolute no-brainer that they want Superman Lois and there was absolutely no way in my mind or anyone else's mind that Superman Lois wasn't going to come back for season 3. I mean, it seems like the cast are having a blast and they're doing really good stuff over there and people always look at Superman Lois as the Arrowverse show that sticks out because it's a bit different and I mean, even there was like some really grisly scenes recently and the cinematography people like and people just like the way that the show kind of operates with its mystery. It's a bit different and I really like it and it's always a breath of fresh air to go from that show after watching one of the other shows, maybe like Legends or Batwoman and then hopping over to Superman Lois, it's great. And so with a season three, that is great. That was teased a while ago. There was a report where I believe the Hollywood Reporter actually reported about some of the CW shows and their status about potential new seasons. And I believe they said Superman Lois season three was a lock. And so this officially confirms, yeah, they are coming back for a season three because it's well loved and it's doing really good for them right now. And they see a lot of opportunity for future seasons. And so apparently Superman Lois has been a top performer on HBO Max as well as doing good on the CW when it airs. So that is a big reason behind the push because I think Warner Brothers would also be pushing because of that link with their streaming service, HBO Max. I think the biggest shock would be if Superman Lois wouldn't go through. I think The Flash not having a season nine would be less shocking than Superman Lois not having a season three, if I'm being completely honest. So very exciting news about The Flash and Superman Lois, but this leaves some questions about our other Arrowverse shows. So let's briefly discuss them. So as The Hollywood Reporter puts it, that leaves Batwoman, Charmed, Dynasty, In the Dark, Legacies, Legends of Tomorrow, Roswell, Stargirl, and first year shows like All American Homecoming, The 4400, Naomi, and Tom Swift on the bubble, and by on the bubble they mean up in the air, like we don't know what's happening with them right now. However, let's go into our Arrowverse shows specifically. So we have Batwoman, Legends of Tomorrow, and Stargirl, and also the new show, Naomi, which could potentially come back for a season two. So let's talk about Batwoman first. So I think it's likely that Batwoman is going to be renewed because it does have a fan base. I think it is decently well watched and lots of people talk about it on social media. I think it has all of the elements to constitute another season and I don't see it really going away this year. I think maybe it could go away after like one or two more years. But I think Batwoman is pretty solidified as of right now, if I'm being completely honest. And there was talk that Legends of Tomorrow was officially confirmed to come back for another season from sources on set because apparently the crew had been told that they'd be working next year. Because obviously you have to kind of prepare, like if a show is going to end and you've been working on this show for so many years as a member of the production, you have to be like, okay, I need to prepare and try and get a new job. And so they do notify the crew earlier than they notified, say, the press. So with that rumor going around, I'm pretty sure Legends of Tomorrow is coming back for another season. And as we mentioned many times before, Legends of Tomorrow has a very good social media outreach. It has its fans and it's very consistent in its ratings. Even if it isn't the most watched CW Arrowverse show out there, 
it does have consistency and I think consistency is something that networks like. But let's move on to Stargirl. So it's noted that Stargirl hasn't premiered its latest season. Obviously they premiered season two, but they haven't premiered season three. So that's why as of right now, we have no word about a potential season four because they're waiting to see how season three performs. But I have a pretty strong feeling Stargirl is going to be renewed for a season 4 because they have the HBO Max side like Superman Lois and also I think they have a pretty consistent fan base who come back and tune in Stargirl week to week even if it isn't one of the most watched CW shows like something like Superman Lois which came out obviously around the same time well just after Stargirl season 1. And so let's talk about that final show and I think this one is the big one up in the air, that being Naomi. So Naomi apparently in terms of ratings and even afterwards hasn't been doing very good and it hasn't had the best fan reception. I think some people really do like it and some people are really digging it. However, I've heard a lot of kind of backlash against the series that it wasn't maybe what they expected. They thought it would be more superheroing and apparently there's not that much. I still have to catch up on Naomi so I can't confirm that because I haven't watched it yet but that is the general consensus that I'm hearing and also looking at the ratings it doesn't look too good for a show in its first season and so that's obviously a big question about will it get a season 2 because if a show doesn't do very good straight away there might be some concerns about it continuing and would it be worth it to put all this money in for a season 2 if it is going to perform like it is right now or even worse because normally over the years shows actually diminish in viewers and audience attention so what happens if they make a season two and there's like half as many people watching from the already low numbers that they're at right now but that's not to say that i don't want naomi to come back because i would really support it coming back for a second season because i think every show really deserves a chance to have at least two or three seasons minimum and they definitely have future plans maybe including crossovers with the arrowverse that would be exciting to see but let's talk about the one final thing I want to talk about before we end this video and that is about potential pickups for new shows. So we know the Arrowverse has a couple new shows they're working on that being Gotham Knights and Justice U specifically. Justice U we haven't heard that much information since the official announcement a couple of months ago. It seems that it's still in development and that they haven't set any kind of pilot dates for it and who's going to be working on it. As of right now we know that they are going to be working with David Ramsey once again. David Ramsey potentially directing the first couple of episodes and he will obviously star in the show because it's Stiggle centric and he'll be there teaching like a bunch of new generation superheroes in a university as they go undercover. Sounds very interesting and there's a lot of opportunity to introduce new characters and also extend the legacy of Arrow. And then at the same time we have a show that is 100% going forward with a pilot because they are filming the pilot next month in April. That show is of course Gotham Knights. So that is coming from a bunch of Batwoman writers and some people behind Gotham, the TV show. So with them going ahead to pilot, if the CW likes it, you can expect maybe a series pickup if it looks very promising. If it doesn't look promising, don't expect anything because if you guys remember like the Powerpuff Girls recently, they shot the pilot, they were asked to reshoot the pilot and I don't think it's actually happening the show. That kind of sets a precedent for shows like Gotham Knights and some potential wariness because if you guys remember Superman Lotus, when they were shooting the pilot, they were shooting it for a very long time because pilots take longer to film in general. However, we got official news pretty shortly after that they picked up for a series run, so that means like a whole season, but that is not always that likely. It's only if they really see the potential in the show, then they will go for a deal like that, where they're like, yeah, let's do this right now. But I think with Gotham Knights, it's going to be a case of watching the pilot, seeing if it's good, because by the looks of it, it does look kind of familiar comparing to some other DC shows. And they obviously knew something like Superman Lois would definitely call out to a lot of fans because Superman is so popular and it is heavily linked to the Arrowverse even if some people deny it. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. But for now, you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.